happy Thursday and it is Thursday I am heading to you know where and I have a few of them to go to I am going to um, I'm in the car today that should be quite obvious but um, I'm going to I turn my lights on it's raining oh okay first I'm going to the church and taking this casserole I made this morning and then I need to go to the bank which way am I going to go today go this way there's like three or four different ways you can go to church and we're getting tired of driving the same route, so we're, we're, we're choosing a new route. Okay, so I need to go to the bank and get the children's money for the next two weeks. And then I need to go to Aldi and Walmart. And I know this might sound very strange, but I actually want to go into Food Lion and see if a cashier is there that I have talked with a few times. She, um, the last time I talked with her, she was talking about struggling financially. And she lives in a an HOA neighborhood so she has to pay HOA fees and she has water through the water company and all and she was sharing with me how she said that she, they're just barely scraping by and it's her and her husband working they have one child at home and a lot of times I think it's a mindset. Some people just grow up in a culture, I'll call it, that deals with having to have everything. You have to have a house in a nice neighborhood. You have to, um, with an HOA. And the conversation started as in, she said, wow, you got a lot of good deals today. I said, yes, thank you, I did. You know, that's the way to do it. That's the way you have to do it. Or I think you should do it, whether you should have to or not. And uh, I guess I'm hard-headed like that. I shouldn't be so hard-headed. But anyway, so I said, but you know what? Even if I could afford not to do it this way, I would still do it this way. And... So she sort of looked at me and she said, do you do this in all areas of life? And I was like, oh yeah. And I was talking to her about, um, like, you know, we had a 1,400 square foot house and our family was growing and we could not afford a new home, but we just took out a little loan and added on to the house ourselves. It made it twice the size it was, or almost twice the size it was. It's now like 2,700 square feet. And um, I told her we did almost all of the work ourselves. We just had somebody to help with the um, initial foundation and framework and with the electric and then someone to help with the plumbing, but really, uh, we did most of it ourselves, and she was like the vinyl siding and everything. I'm like, yeah, you know, we just we're do it ourselves. It's a way to save money. And so then she said, what about your water? She was concerned about that. I said, well, we have a well. She said, so you don't live in a neighborhood like a um, subdivision. And I, I guess I overstepped my boundaries there because I said, oh no, I could never live in a subdivision. And she lives in a subdivision. Uh, and then I explained why, though. I said, you know, we, we have a garden, another way to save money, and we have chickens. 
that can potentially save you money. Not all the time. That's more sometimes like a hobby. And uh, and I felt so bad for her. I felt so sad for her to be in the situation she's in. And I told James I would rather live in a an old 70s single wide trailer on a piece of dirt than to have to worry about money the way this poor lady and her husband do. Well, I assume her husband does too. It's just not worth it. And, you know, I felt like saying, what's your cell phone service through? Do you have cable television? Um, have you considered moving out of your subdivision? What do you drive? Um, you don't have to have a high car payment. I see families that they have a fancy house in a subdivision with an HOA. They have um, two new vehicles of which they have payments on. And they have cable television or satellite tel television with fancy cell phones, with high cell phone service through companies such as Verizon or whatnot, with um, contracts. All of this, they, I see families who they have like four people in their family and they're spending like $250 a week on groceries. So many things like that. Um, they won't buy anything used. There's nothing wrong with used clothing. Do you know that a lot of people buy clothes out of stores and then they wear them and bring them back? Now, I have my limits. Anything, like no underwear or anything like that. No. But, really, you've got to think of ways. You have to think out of the box. And, there are ways that you can make it. And she said, I just don't see how you make it on one income. One modest income. I just don't see. I could go on hours and hours talking to that lady. So anyway, I made a connection a few times with her. And I just pray that I can, if she doesn't know the Lord, I think she does that I can show her Jesus through me and what the Lord can do for her. And also, that's first priority. Second priority is maybe be a, an encouragement to her to be able to save money in ways that she hasn't thought of. A lot of people don't think about this stuff. They don't realize that there's track phones and people call those throwaway phones. Let me tell you, those are not. I have this phone that I'm recording on right now. It's an iPhone. I don't use it. I don't have um, phone service through it or anything. I just use it to make these videos. And it was given to us. And it cost a lot of money. I'm very thankful for the person who gave it to us. And, uh, but it, well, we wouldn't have paid for this phone, iPhone. And I just use it to surf the internet through Wi Fi to watch YouTube videos and get on Facebook. Um, but I have another cell phone through Track Phone. And the service has been just as good as it was when we had Verizon or Straight Talk. We went from Verizon, which has the high contract plans and all of that. And then, of course, when you renew your contract, then once you get a new phone, blah, 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 to Straight Talk, which was really good. We went from Straight Talk to something better, which is track phone for us. So that's something you can look into if you're interested. We bought the um, phone cards off the internet last year. It has 1,200 minutes on it. Well, it was a 600 minute phone card, but then they double your minutes, which is 1,200. And uh, it lasts us, 
a year. I have, um, it, it, I have to renew it again in March to, for the minutes to roll over. I need to get a new phone card and my daughter too because she has the same thing. James has a cell phone through work. But, um, we're going to have enough minutes to roll over. It's not going to be many. It'll be under 100 minutes, but it'll be some minutes to roll over. The thing is, you're just not on the phone. You don't have it glued to your ear all the time. But it works for us. So anyway, I'll, uh, it's been over 10 minutes since I've been talking. I will try to show you whatever I get today. And, um, and then maybe the farmer's market hall on Saturday. I'll have to see about that. But anyway, I'll let you go and talk with you later.